Hello everyone. Welcome to this video, where we'll be exploring why the recent incident of the US shooting down an alleged Chinese spy balloon resulted in the Chinese Defense Ministry declining a phone call from their US counterpart. Backslash and at the outset, let's discuss the incident that prompted the phone call. China and the US hold vastly different views on what the alleged balloon was doing. China maintains that the balloon was a part of a weather research intended to collect atmospheric data, while the US asserts it was to spy on strategic sites. Backslash and this, along with other heightened tensions between the two countries, compelled the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, to postpone his trip to Beijing. It also increased the necessity to activate hotlines between them. Backslash and but the main reason behind the declined phone call can be attributed to the cultural differences between the two countries. According to Shen Yame, Deputy Director and Associate Research Fellow at China Institute of International Studies Department for American Studies, China's reluctance to answer the phone arises from their fear of potential consequences should they comply. Such consequences would put US-China relations on a low scale, ultimately resulting in a conflict. Backslash and apart from China's stance, the US's point of view also differs from their Chinese counterpart. Barbara K. Bodine, a retired ambassador and director of the Institute for the Study of Diplomacy at Georgetown University, stated that when a situation arises that has the potential to cause misunderstanding or misinterpretation, it is important for the involved parties to be able to discuss the matter. The hotline, according to Bodine, is used for that purpose with the purpose of averting a major miscalculation. Backslash N. Scott Kennedy, Senior Advisor and Trustee Chair in Chinese Business and Economics at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, also added to this by saying that having in-depth dialogues on views, intentions, red lines, and achievable and practical goals is the next step to increasing communications between the two countries. Backslash N. Beijing has since then maintained its stance on the issue with their defense ministry claiming that answering the phone call would not create the right atmosphere for dialogue and exchange. Moreover, Beijing reiterated its call for the U.S. to practice principles of mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and win-win cooperation. Backslash and ultimately, it is important to understand that bridging the communication gap can be a difficult task. Cultural differences between countries can stem from the nation's closed structure, history, and their view on relationships in general. Backslash and in conclusion, the U.S.-China relationship is truly one that is politically important. We may criticize the decisions taken by either government, but it is the cultural differences between the two countries that have the most significant impact. The only way to bridge this gap and enable dialogues that bring favorable outcomes for both nations is for them actively engage in respectful communication. Backslash Ni hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, goodbye.